Hello friends and strangers, I am Heli and in this video I am taking you with me into Story of Seasons, Pioneers of Olive Town. We got some money off the stuff we shipped yesterday and I'm hoping we'll get some more today because Upgrading our tools from iron to silver doesn't only require silver and lumber, it also requires quite a bit of money. So let's see what we can do about that. But first, let's go visit our friends, the Earth Sprites, and see what they have for us. We have found four more followers, so two for stone sprite, one for grass sprite, and one for log sprite. Hello, some sap, all right. some iron ore and some grass. The iron ore was quite nice, although we don't really need any at the moment. But it doesn't really hurt to have a stash. Put these away and Let's get the solid logs and the solid lumber into our inventory because that's what we'll need to upgrade our tools. Let's collect the stuff from our makers. We can sell the yogurt and the mayo. Get the silver. Put some more in there. Make some more thread. And fabric. Or cloth. Okay, let's put the cloth away. And let's also put the iron away. We don't really need it at the moment. Now then, let's water our plants. Oh, can't water with an empty watering can. Here we go. Get the... I do believe this is the tea. I wonder when it'll be done. And here's the weed. Get that nice and watered. And I really don't remember what I've planted here. I guess we'll find out when it's ready for harvest. Onions. Oh, need more water. There's our onions watered and potatoes. Mm. 
Okay, let's cut some of this grass away. Try to keep our yard at least somewhat tidy. See if I can actually hit that grass. will make a nice soup, raise our cooking level, or give us some cooking eggs. Get rid of these rocks. And let's go see our chicken. Good morning, Buttercup. Thank you for the egg. Come on out and play. Good morning, Cornflower. Thank you for the milk. Come on out as well. Let's see what's in here. Hmm, a bucket upgrade would be nice. But I guess we'll upgrade the watering can first. Two heavy objects. Ah, mushrooms. And our inventory is already full. Let's scoop up these puddles. Go empty our inventory a little bit so we can gather some more harvestables. Put the clay away and the stone. Harvest that and Let's go cook that soup. We can make two. And another one. Okay, nothing else. stuff away into the fridge, the soup, mushrooms and herbs. And we can sell that. Anything to harvest here? Oh yes. Something over here too. Ah, oh, right there. Where were 
the harvestables over here. Sugar. Mm, pasta. Something. Huh. Weird. More oysters. Uh, let's see what else we can find. Mm, some pepper. And something. Ooh, a butter bar. More sugar. And another butter bar. Anything else? Something right there. Another butter bar. Let's put these away. Into the fridge with you. More silver ingots. We now have five, so we can upgrade a watering can. Oh, hello kids. Thanks for getting the lumber, Heather. Now we can build the most protective barrier ever. It'll be so strong those fish people will never know what hit them. Should we get Nigel to help? Yeah, we gotta get all the adults in on this. Ah, chew. Hello, Jacopo. Jacopo? Just in time. We're about to build our barrier. Give us a hand, will ya? A uh, barrier? You guys pretending to build a secret base or something? No, the fish people are coming. They're gonna attack us. Marco saw one. There was a fish person in the water. Ah, uh, <laughs> about that, that was probably me. What do you mean? Okay, so I might have been sent flying into the ocean earlier. And by the time I crawled up onto dry land, I was covered in seaweed. It was pretty gross. So while I was doing my time as Jacopo's seaweed monstrosity, I kinda remember Marcos catching a glimpse of me. He went white as a sheet. Wait, so it wasn't a fish person? It was just you? Bingo! What chew? Ugh, man. Getting thrown into the ocean is a one-way ticket to a cold. I could really go for some hot milk right now. Hot milk coming right up. Could you go get him some heather? Sure thing. If I know how. Now that would be awesome. I'm heading out for now though. See you later. Later, Jacopo. Get well soon. What's wrong, Cindy? Now we know that the fish person was actually Jacopo covered in seaweed. But what sent him flying into the ocean? Yeah, we've got no idea what did it. Looks like we still got our work cut out for us. Hmm. 
seems like an ace detective's work is never done. Okay, let's see about this watering can. Uh, yes, we have the money and the silver. Nothing else right now, thank you. How you doing? Hey there, looks like someone's having a good day. Well, yes I am actually. I just upgraded my watering can. Hello Lars. Yo Heather, what's up? You doing alright? Pretty well, thank you. Hello Mikey, I want more playground stuff. Well, maybe we can talk to the mayor about it. Hi Jacopo, you see that new girl working at the beauty salon? Ah, she catch your eye? Yeah. My mom and sister run the animal shop. Oh yeah, you've told me that lots of times. Maybe I should knit something. That sounds nice. Okay. Howdy there, Heather. Not pushing yourself too hard there, are you? Nope, just hard enough. Ugh, Clem's done it again. Where'd he hide my baby? Oh, hey, Heather. Mind giving me a hand here? I guess his baby is his motorcycle. Yeah, he hit my bike somewhere and... Wait, how'd you know that? Dang, you psychic or something? So, you know how much I love my motorcycle, right? I'm always tinkering around with her whenever I've got any free time. Which means Clem ends up having to do all the work around the shop. And yeah, I do feel kind of bad about that, but... I don't know. I think Clem finally snapped and hit my bike somewhere. Aha! I finally found you. You're the miscreant who inappropriately parked your motorcycle, are you not? Wait. You know where my bike is? I do indeed. It has found its way into an exhibit in the museum. Seriously? Ugh, why'd Clem put her here? Well, I for one am just glad I found its owner. Now please remove it at once. Yeah, you don't have to tell me twice. Whoa, there's a motorcycle. Cool. You've got good taste, kid. Man, now that I get a good look, my baby looks so awesome chilling over here. I could stare at her all day. I would prefer it if you did not stare at it all day. Are you taking it with you or not? Don't forget what you came here for. Golly, this sure is a trendy museum, putting a motorcycle on display. My, how modern. Right? Though I don't recall seeing this on exhibit before, how long will it be here? until everyone in town's gotten a good look at her. Oh, no, 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 no. I'll be having none of that. Take it home this instant. Aw, Gloria. The museum is kind of empty. Uh... 
I don't know, maybe you shouldn't be so opposed to the idea of a little motorcycle exhibit. You say they changed up the beauty salon? Hmm, I suppose there's no harm in checking it out. No, there is not. Let's see about these requests. Red Barrel. Uh, I only have raw Red Barrel. And hot milk. We'll see if I can make some. Oh, many cutscenes today. Aww. Shh, quiet Buster, you're gonna get us in trouble. Come here boy, you gotta hide. Oh Heather. Aw, shoot. You can't tell anyone you saw me here, okay? And not a word about my pal here, neither. You curious about him? Then I'll let you in on our secret. Truth is, he's my apprentice. Watch. Sit. Shake. Nice one. Ooh, are you secretly taking care of that dog, Mikey? I thought your mom said you weren't allowed to have pets yet. Crud. Maybe I should tell on you. Please don't. He's my friend. I, I'm just, um, giving him a helping paw in his time of need. Oh yeah? Then can I be his friend too? You can try, but I'm the only one he likes. Sit. Shake. No. Et tu, Brusta? I won't tell your mom, promise. He'll be our secret. Fine. You better not tell anyone. Ah, well, I Hello. hope all is well that ends well. Hello Heather, you look like you're enjoying the day. I am actually. Now let's go see about that hot milk. Oops. Oh, and I guess I didn't remember to put the logs into the lumber maker. Oh well, later. Let's see about that hot milk first. I guess it would be in this tab. I don't see it though. Oh, uh, I guess our cooking level's too low. Yeah, I don't see it anywhere. Well, we'll have to level up our cooking before we can continue with that quest. Also, I kind of forgot to pop into the museum. I hope it's still open. 
we have those two heavy objects that we need to identify. Oh. Ah, silver ingot. Oh. And the other one. Solid lumber. Just what I need. The museum is my life's work. I, ble I pledge to run it capably so that Victor need never feel obliged to step in. He works hard enough. Oh yes. I could use a sweet pick-me-up right about now. Times like these call for my emergency fruit jam stash. <laughs> emergency fruit jam stash. Hmm. Sounds delicious. Oh hi there Heather. How have you been these days? Pretty good. Yeah, I bet Victor works hard enough what with having to clean the town hall and everything. Yeah. You're managing a farm? Good luck with that. If you're curious about anything in town, you've come to the right tour guide. I've got the deeds on every nook and cranny. Ask away. Oh, Iori. Jean is truly an enigmatic personage. And yet, her skill cannot be denied. Well, I guess we should go and see about getting us some more solid logs. And maybe also remember to put the logs we do have into the lumber maker. I'm kind of tempted to make another lumber maker as well. It takes so long to make lumber that I think another one would be useful. Well, Felicia's birthday. I don't know any Felicia. Oh well. Let's get some logs. I think these should be close enough to each other. If I chop here. Oh yeah. we can find more that are close together. Well, I guess these two are. That kind of gives us a bit of a better yield her stamina heart spent. We also need more silver. So let's break. What's that? Sugar? Okay. Let's break some of these silver containing rocks. Thank you. 
Maybe we can upgrade our bucket tomorrow. That'll make it easier for us to empty those little... Well, um, ponds, I guess. The little ones, not the big ones. They are well worth emptying because you can find all sorts of treasures in the chest at the bottom. Okay, let's pick this stuff up and sell it and the oysters as well. Put some more silver in there. And yeah, no lumber yet. We should definitely get another lumber maker. Try to remember to see about it tomorrow. Let's put the sugar away. And I guess we don't really need all of these cucumbers and strawberries. Let's keep like 10 of each and sell the rest. The money will be useful for all sorts of upgrades. Okay, let's save here for now and continue from this point next time. So if you like this video, please leave it a like and if you'd like to support my efforts here on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel Gentle Gaming for Wellness. It is quick and easy and doesn't cost you a thing, but it does help me a lot. Thanks so much for watching, I wish you a lovely rest of your day and I hope I'll see you in the comments below.